Hey you guys, what's up? In today's video, I'm going to be testing out and doing lip swatches of the new ColourPop Blotted Lips. So apparently this is their new and improved formula of their blotted lip. They have their ultra blotted lip, which I do have an older one here that I am going to be showing you guys compared to the new ones. I thought they discontinued this product, but it looks like it's still available on their website. So I guess they have the ultra blotted lip and then the new just like blotted lip. Maybe they will eventually phase these out once they sell out of all of them. So I'm going to be showing you guys close-ups and swatches of all of the shades that they just came out with and I'm also going to be doing lip swatches of all of the shades as well. So I hope you guys are all excited about today's video. If you are, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So this portion of today's video is actually sponsored by the brand Ana Luisa. They are a jewelry brand. It was so crazy to me because I actually was about to purchase some of their earrings because I've been really big into like earrings lately. And they actually reached out to me and asked if I wanted to work with them. And of course I said yes. I still need to go back and purchase some more earrings from them because they are honestly amazing. So I'm so excited that they are sponsoring today's video. So yeah, Ana Luisa is a fine jewelry brand that focuses on sustainability. All of their jewelry is made from 100% recycled gold, which I think is amazing. So they did actually let me pick out a couple of jewelry items and I have been wearing them in my last few videos. You guys have probably seen them, but I'm gonna show you guys some close-ups of all of the earrings that I'm wearing right now. And I'm also going to tell you a little bit about each of them. So these are first earrings I'm wearing right here are the Michelle earrings. So these are a pair of textured gold hoop earrings. They are 14 karat gold plated. I absolutely love the way that these look. I feel like you can kind of like dress these up or down. Like right now I'm wearing like a t-shirt and I feel like they just go like so perfectly with it. But I also feel like you could really dress these up as well. Like they would look really nice with like a nice dress. They're the perfect size hoop. And then the little gold coin at the end, I just feel like adds such a cute touch. So yeah, I'm obsessed with these. They're probably my favorite. I have been loving these. And I do want to say that I have very, very sensitive ears. Like my ears react to everything. I have not had any issues wearing Ana Luisa jewelry. Like they don't bother my ears at all. Like the quality is amazing. So in my next haul, I'm actually wearing two different earrings. We're going to start over on this side. So right here, I'm just wearing a gold huggy hoop and it's actually a duo huggy. So this earring is actually called the duo and it comes with another gold hoop attached. So as you guys can see, I actually took the second gold hoop off and I'm just wearing the single huggy so you can wear it by itself or you can wear it with the extra hoop on it as well. I love wearing it both ways. If I'm wearing it in my second hole, I like to wear it with just the huggy. If I'm wearing it in my first hole, I keep it as the duo. Then on my other ear, I'm wearing the Sia Link, which is one of my favorites as well. Honestly, I love them all. And this is a paper clip earring that has a chain that connects to another stud earring. So you can wear this in different holes if you have more than one piercing. So you could actually wear this in your first hole and connect it to a second hole. I have thought about connecting it to like a cartilage piercing, but I haven't tried that out just yet. And then the last earring I'm wearing right here is another kind of huggy style hoop and it has this little chain attached which I love the chain. So these are the Lou earrings. I will wear these earrings in any of my holes. Like I love how they look in the first, second, and third hole. So yeah, I have been obsessed with my Ana Luisa jewelry. I actually am going to go purchase more because the quality is amazing. I have been super into earrings lately. I have been loving all sorts of different earrings and I've been really big into gold and I feel like they have such pretty gold jewelry. So if you guys have been looking for really nice quality jewelry that's not like super expensive I would definitely recommend checking out Ana Luisa and they're having like their biggest sale of the year right now so now is the time to purchase their jewelry I will leave everything linked in my description box below if you guys want to check it out so before we get into lip swatches of all of the blotted lips I'm first going to show you guys close-ups and arm swatches of all of the shades so these are the new ColourPop blotted lips I am so excited about these so this is their new elevated formula and we have eight shades. So these are actually like not a liquid, which is kind of surprising to me because the old blotted lip was a liquid and these are like, I don't know, crayon pencil type thing. So it says that it has a sheer matte coverage for a beautiful blurred focused look. So the first shade we're going to swatch is super mellow. Here's what this shade looks like. Okay. It feels very creamy. Next we have otter. This one looks like more of a pinky shade. This next shade looks like, I don't know, kind of like a cool tone shade. Okay, it actually looks peachy. <laughs> On film. Tone. 
talker. Shook. Missing you. And the last shade is called Melty. All right, so there are all of the shades to watch. Honestly, I'm a little surprised at the formula. They're very sheer. I'm gonna grab one of the old ultra blotted lips to show you guys and kind of compare the two formulas. So here is one of their old ultra blotted lips. This is like in liquid lipstick type packaging. It is a liquid, whereas these new ones are a cream. So let's swatch the old one. So as you can see, the old one was definitely a lot more pigmented. Still on the sheer side, but I loved this formula. So now that you guys have seen all of these shades up close, let's go ahead and move on to the lip swatch part of today's video. So first up, I'm gonna be swatching the shade on film. So as you can see, these are very sheer. They have a very like light feeling formula. They do feel comfortable and they glide on like very smoothly, but they're not like super pigmented or anything like that because they are a blotted lip, which is kind of confusing to me because as I said earlier, the old blotted lip was kind of like a liquid lipstick cross, I would almost say, because it was like super pigmented. These new ones are like very sheer. They do seem to go on very easily. I like lip products like this that are very like, I don't know, kind of natural looking, easy to apply that you can just like throw in your purse and wear on an everyday basis. I really like this shade. This one, as I said, was the shade on film. I feel like this one is going to be a popular one. Next up, we have the shade Los Feliz. I really hope I didn't butcher that because pretty sure it's Spanish and my Spanish is horrible, but here is the shade. I feel like this one looks very similar to the last one. So yeah, here is this shade. These go on so easily, as I said earlier, and they kind of remind me of the ColourPop Just a Tint Lip Crayons, but these are like the matte version of those. And yeah, I just like the way that they look. I wish they were a little bit more pigmented, but honestly, if they keep the old ultra blotted lip, I won't have a problem with these being like, I don't know, less pigmented and kind of sheer because I think having both of these products is good because this one, as I said, is more of like a liquid lipstick hybrid, whereas this one is almost like, it reminds me of a lip balm, but it's obviously a lot more pigmented than a lip balm and it is like kind of matte, but it still feels comfortable on the lips. But yeah, here's the shade. I also really like this one, but it is a little bit similar to the last one. So I would definitely say you don't need both of these two shades. Next up, we have the shade Super Mellow. So here is the shade Super Mellow. I also really like this one, but once again, I feel like it is very similar to the first two shades. Like these three shades look pretty much the same on the lips. The undertones are slightly different, but I feel like they're all very similar. Like, I don't know why they made three shades that are so similar to each other. So just know if you wanna get any of those three shades, you definitely don't need to get any of the other ones. One will be enough. The next shade is called Otter. So this one looks more of like a pinky shade. So this one adds just like a touch of color. I feel like it is a pretty shade once again, but this is another one that I would kind of categorize with the first few. Like I feel like you wouldn't need like multiple of these, like one of these four shades would be enough. Then we have Talker. So I really like how the shade Talker looks. I think it's because this one is a little bit darker. I wish they would have made more like, I don't know, medium to deep shades because I just feel like they look better. At least like this one, I feel like adds more color to the lips, which I personally like. So yeah, this one is a really pretty one. Next is the shade Missing You. So I also really like the shade right here called Missing You, but I feel like it is kind of similar to the last one. But this one has a little bit different of like an undertone, but I think it looks really pretty. I kind of prefer, I think, Missing You over the last one that I did a lip swatch of. Next up is the shade Melty.
I'm not sure how I feel about this color. So Melty is not like a shade that I would typically go for. It's not that the shade is bothering me, but I feel like this one almost like sticks to like dry patches on my lips and it's a little bit darker in those areas. So it almost looks like a little bit patchy. So yeah, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this one. Like as you guys can see, like it definitely looks patchy. Like right where my lips are dry, it looks darker. I feel like this one could have been good, but the way it's going on just doesn't look very nice. And lastly, we have Shook. So see how dark this looks? It's like very, very sheer as you guys can see as I'm applying it. This one is like a nice berry shade, but it doesn't really add very much to the lips, I feel like. And this one also does kind of stick to my dry patches, or at least it's a little bit more obvious with the deeper shades. So yeah, those are all eight shades of the new ColourPop Blotted Lips. I'm kind of on the fence with how I feel about these. Like I feel like I will get a lot of use out of these for like everyday wear, but I would never wear these like somewhere where I need my lip product to like really show up or stay on the lips because I feel like these won't last very long. They might leave like a little bit of color left over on the lips, but they kind of feel like a lip balm where they're just going to kind of like wipe away if you eat or drink. So it actually does say that these do have a sheer color payout on the first swipe, but they can be built up to medium coverage. I would not consider this medium coverage. I would still consider this like light coverage for the darker shades. It also says that these have a blurred focus matte finish, which they actually do. I feel like your lips do look pretty smooth, except for where the darker colors kind of stick to like little dry parts of your lips but the lighter shades definitely give you like a blurred matte look and they do feel comfortable on the lips even though they are matte it says that they have ultra moisturizing ingredients which explains why they feel very comfortable on the lips so yeah i would say that these are a good lip product for someone who likes very like sheer looking lipstick i think you guys will really like these if you liked their just a tint lip crayons i personally love those but these are like a matte version the good thing about these is that they do have a different like shape so they have this kind of like sharp edge over here where you can kind of like outline the shape of your lips so you can be a little bit more precise with the blotted lips compared to the just a tint lip crayons let me know what you guys think about these new blotted lips in the comments down below and then i'm also going to have them linked there as well so yeah that is it for today's video i hope you guys all enjoyed it once again i want to say a big thank you to anna luisa for sponsoring today's video make sure you guys go and check out their jewelry they're doing their biggest sale of the year right now so you definitely don't want to miss out i will have their website linked in my description box below and yeah i highly recommend their jewelry it is absolutely amazing if you guys decide to pick up anything please let me know in the comments down below i would love to hear what you guys are going to pick up so if you guys did enjoy today's video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already also make sure you have your notifications turned on that way you don't miss out on any of my future videos all you have to do is click the bell next to the subscribe button and then you'll receive a notification every time i upload a new video and i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching